This week at Chateau de Bruges, we reveal the paint colour for the Louis Room woodwork. We show more progress in the Louis Room renovation. We have another booking for three nights in King Charles, a wonderful family of two adults and two children. And we prepare breakfast, lunch and dinner for our lovely guests. We're so glad you're enjoying our videos and joining us on this exciting but very tiring journey to create a thriving business in our French chateau. And if you can, we'd love to see you at the live premiere at 7.30 p.m. French time. We have a wonderful regular group of followers who make watching the video live that much more entertaining. Okay, so um, we have headed out to come up for on today for a couple of bits. Um, the first stop was for bits of the curtain in the salon um, as we've now ordered the fabric. So what we had to get today was the weights for the bottom of the curtain to make sure it hangs nicely. We got some cotton to match our fabric that we have. Oh, have we shown the fabric? The color. Yeah, okay, so we haven't shown the fabric yet, but this is the color, I did think. Um, we've got some pleat hooks for each curtain and the header tape. So I'm hoping, I think I've got everything I need to start the salon curtains, so yeah. This could be interesting. <laughs> so next electrical job for me is here in bedroom five. We have two sockets here, um, just below the skirt, just above the skirting board, um, which are going to be either side of the bed. Now currently these are wired up as lamp sockets, so the sockets will only work once the main light switch is turned on. Now that doesn't really work for us as a configuration, because these are going to be for bedside lights, and obviously we'll have a chandelier for the main light. So it should be as simple for me as to take the switch off here and make some configuration changes in the switch to make these both live and the switch just controlled in the light. So you guys watch enough Chateau channels to know that a simple job in a Chateau is never a simple job. So let's see how it works out. So 770 euros later, we have all of the paint required for both the east and the south facing hallway and bedroom five bedroom and the bathroom. Well, we've just got to make sure that we, we get it home safely now with that hour and a bit drive. So as I expected and hoped in here, we have a multitude of cables. These are going to be um, switch lives, lives and some neutrals and earths. So my job now really, I can see the ones running down to the socket down there and then that socket goes across the wall to feed the other socket. So I'm only really dealing with two wires. Uh, I can see the live coming up there and where the neutral is going. So all I need to do is take those out of the switch live, connect them to, to a permanent live and uh, we should be good. Hello. So we are back from our trip to Clermont Ferrand. We collected some upholstery stuff for the curtains, upholstery stuff. In the salon, yeah. Yeah, for the curtains in the salon. We've also collected paint for the hallways and bedroom five. And we've also now got tiles for the bedroom five wall and tiles for bedroom five floor. Um, so it's been an expensive day to say the least, um, but we've now got to get all these things inside before Danielle freezes to death because yes. she's shivering. <laughs> They're not light, and that's the back, so don't get any ideas as to the colour yet. <laughs> Come on, bring Froggy in. Bring Froggy. Good boy. Bring inside. So thankfully, pretty straightforward. Just a case of moving one wire from switch live to permanent live. So now I have a working light and the plugs working independently from the switch. Another job ticked off the list. Here's your friendly reminder to make sure that the tip of your gun is screwed on properly. Should probably be wearing these. There you go. Is that better? 
So I'll I'll wear these ones. Uh, Gotta protect your ears. Okay, well, that's it. That's the last of the windows stripped of them. Oh, sorry, hold on, I forgot. Oops. Ah. Really? Hopefully you can hear me right now. That was the last of the metal hinges on the windows that I had to, uh, to strip. So I've done all three now in the bathroom and shower room. So now they're ready for a, a good wipe down and a good clean, get rid of all the debris. And uh, then Danielle can come and cork and then they're ready for paint. Okay, so it's Wednesday morning um, and I think the final preparation works in the bathroom um, have now been done. We've done the last little bits of filling and sanding. Um, so all the walls are lovely and flat, ready for a little bit of paint. So we're going to start off with, of course, the ceiling. So when we roll, it doesn't splat onto nicely painted walls and woodwork. So we're going to go from a yellow ceiling to a white ceiling, hopefully. Okay, so next job for me is this light here, which is at the end of the corridor where we built this new stud wall, is now not symmetrical right there. So what I need to do is cross uh, the ceiling here about, I uh, can't remember the measurement, 90 centimeters or so, I'll measure again, um, and then just run the cable down so it's then symmetrical with the light in the hallway. Simples. So before anyone panics, this is on the second floor and this floor needs a lot of work. So when we renovate this floor, it will include sanding, filling cracks and varnishing. So you won't even know that we've been here. So that's set to have done. Both lights are symmetrical from either end of the hall. Um, all working and functional. As you can see, these lights are obviously going to be replaced with some of oh, this fantastic chandeliers once we decorate this hallway, which is going to be very, very soon. So keep watching for that. But for now, on to the next job. Okay, so we're going to reveal bedroom five um, woodwork colour, which is probably um, the boldest colour in the room, and it's taken from um, a similar colour and a, the design um, around the wallpaper. So I'm hoping <coughs> it's going to look really good. So we'll see. You look sneak peek. Ready? Oh, blue. 
No. Very bold, but I think it's got a, like a hint or a tint of purple. Um, so I hope it's nice. I think it'd be a nice colour. In my head, it looks lovely. We always do this when we see yeah. the paint in the can. We're always like, oh, I'm not sure. Yeah. And Is then it, right? it goes on the wall and it looks great. So yeah. Yeah. hopefully it happens again. Mm. Right, I'm going to pour this and hope for the best. Okay, I'm going to video it just in case it all goes wrong. Yeah. Ready? Yep. That's good. Oh, I've smashed that. Mm. Most of it, some of it went in there, <laughs> but that's okay. Blue. So that's all the door fixings on. No idea where it's going to shut. I guess we'll try it. Fingers crossed. Ah. Piece of cake. Sorry about that. First time as well, isn't it? Yeah. First time. Didn't need any changes. Didn't take me very long at all. I'm sure it's normal to take nearly a whole day to fit a door. How's the pain, painting going, Zania? Slowly going, nearly got a first layer of that, which is good. We've got window, window. Oh, maybe you can sit on that in, door frame. Lovely, once to get the cot in with the mobile. Dad thinks it looks like the colour of a nursery room. My great nephew Bertie would like it. <laughs> what do you think, Mills? I like it. I believe in Well, um, I am in the car in the queue for the tunnel to go back to the UK. Um, I have battled six hours or six and a half hours in the car um, going through wind, rain um, and a little bit of lightning and to top it all off the engine warning like um, popped up um, so very dramatic drive but it's all worth it because I'm heading home to back to Herefordshire um, for my best friend's hen do so quick stop over at Rachel's house before I then add another four hours tomorrow to get to Herefordshire um, and yes, I'm leaving the chateau in the capable hands of Jake and Graham, who also have guests this weekend. So good luck to you guys. I'm sure you will absolutely smash it and you'll be fine while I'm having fun. So thank you. <laughs> um, but other than that, yeah, let's hope I can return well um, and rested. So yeah. Okay, so all of the rooms in the chateau, all the communal spaces have been hoovered and mopped and cleaned and wiped and etc etc. Table is set, ready to go for tonight um, and the bedroom is clean, all the ironing was done, the bed is made and that room is ready to go. One person I wanted to check in with before guests arrive a little bit later today is the chef. Bonjour. The chef has been uh, to the shop already this morning to go and collect things for his meal today and tomorrow. What's on the menu for today, please, Chef? So for starter, we have leek and potato soup. For mains, we have pork chop chopped with, uh, topped with cheesy and mustard uh, topping. And then for dessert, we have a champagne 
Sauvignon, which uh, I've not made before, but it's like a creme brulee, but it's got a few more, fruit, a few more fruits in it. So there you go, all underway. Cool. Well, uh, I'm sure we'll be keeping up to date with how things go in the kitchen. And we'll, of course, same as we did last week, see if the chef doesn't mind popping on the, boat, the uh, GoPro to show you how everything looks before it goes out. So all going well in the kitchen so far. The potato and leek soup is made and that's just ready to be reheated when the guests are ready. The desserts are made and they're chilling in the fridge. The pork chops have been grilled off so they're just ready to have their mustard and um, mustard and cheese cheese topping. Thank you Jake. And then they go in the grill and then the vegetables are all prepared and waiting. So guests should be here in about 40 minutes. We're aiming for dinner for seven, which is about uh, an hour and a half. So all under control. Piece of cake. Oh, 6.30. Tax on. And relax for 15 minutes. So it's five to seven, the soup is nicely warming, the potatoes are done, the vegetables are on, the meat is ready to go in the grill. So we're just waiting for our guests and we'll be good to go. See you at the other end. I can only apologize for the angle of the GoPro. It seems it was tilted up just a slight bit too far. We'll make sure it's better for next time. We have a service bell on order and it will be delivered to the chateau when Daniel returns to the chateau next week. Chef's ready to go. Wow, look at them. Five past nine, uh, guests have just gone up to bed, we've tidied away the kitchen, dinner went really, really well, got some really good feedback on all three courses, so I'm very happy. Even Jake liked it, so I think the dessert was better than the famous cheesecake. What time are we up at in the morning for breakfast? Uh, guests want breakfast at 8.30, so I shall be, or eight o'clock, so I will be up at 7.30 to go to the boulangerie, get the breads and the pastries and Jake will be setting the table. Spoken like a true French man. Boulangerie. Boulangerie. Good <laughs> morning. Hello, you join us in the kitchen once again and that is because we are prepping our first ever Chateau de Bruges lunches um, and our guests have opted for tomato and mozzarella paninis for today. Um, so yeah, currently prepping them, getting them ready to go. A moment of truth. Oh, that definitely works better that way, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Hey Siri. Siri's rubbish. Hey Siri, start a timer for four minutes. Good evening, so food prep again is once underway. Tonight's menu we have a starter of a uh, cheese and ham croquette with a side salad. Then we have the main course of the classic French chicken, um, chicken, um, <laughs> You just chicken. said it. Yeah. Um, chicken. Raclette? Chicken chest of 
Then we have the classic main dish of it. Oh, so I'll start again. Yeah, start course. again. Okay. Uh, good evening. Uh, food prep is underway for this evening's meal. We have a starter of cheese and ham croquette. Uh, which comes with a side salad. Then we have a typical French uh, lovely chicken chasseur, which is going to be with asparagus, carrots, and um, Hasselback potatoes. And then for dessert, we have the tartar tan with vanilla ice cream. So prep is all on the way, all in good time. 20 minutes till service. I'm very relaxed. Wow, very relaxed. Very relaxed. And I'm also very relaxed because my job is done, and my job was, of course, to set the table, which has been prepped, looking really nice, and of course, get a nice fire on. So yeah, we're all ready for our guests to come and join us. And yeah, night two is underway. Still gotta turn that light on, in case anyone says anything. But yeah, wish us luck. Apologies again for the GoPro footage. I nearly didn't include it at all, as it's not our normal standard of cinematography but I wanted to show you guys the service anyway. So that's it, evening number two done and dusted. Again, three courses went down really, really well. Dad's done himself proud today. Um, three courses were exceptional, beautifully plated and, uh, and really tasty as well. And of course, most importantly, all homemade. Um, so guests have been really happy with that. And, um, and yeah, it's another relatively early night. It's now nine o'clock and we've, we've finished clearing the table, we've finished the washing up and we have set up ready for breakfast. So yeah, just time for an hour or so to chill before bed and, uh, and then yeah, back up again for an eight o'clock breakfast tomorrow. We'll see you then. So Saturday night and for starters tonight, we have a terrine with a side salad and some uh, grilled toast. Um, for mains we have a like a beef bourguignon but it's with a strong um, ale rather than a red wine um, so it's like a northern French dish and then for pudding we have a chocolate souffle with chocolate sauce homemade. And the uh, the footage of the uh, the food is going to be much better. I shall so. angle the GoPro down a little bit director yes. Thank you. So last. And the guests have just arrived. Have they? Superb. Okay, here they come. Okay, the, uh, the last evening meal is done and dusted. Um, guests have now gone upstairs. Again, three very, very good courses, all very complimentary of, of Dad's hard work, which is good. So one more breakfast tomorrow at eight o'clock. Um, so a relatively early start. And they're also leaving at about half nine, 10 o'clock um, with one of our takeaway lunches. So we'll have to prepare a lunch for them for tomorrow morning as well. But yeah, they've been they've been really nice family, really good company and uh, yeah, we hope to see them again. <clears throat> well, good morning. It is Sunday morning. It is now half past 7. It is the last relatively early start for me. Um dad is already at the laundry. I've just got to go and set the table ready for breakfast. And we've also got to prepare our guests lunches that they're going to take away with them for their drive um, back up to Paris today. So yeah, hopefully everything goes well again this morning. And um, and yeah, we're going to be sad to say goodbye because we've we've built quite a nice bond with this family. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been nice to have them. 
So the preparations for our guests' lunches are well underway. And uh, as you'll see in just a minute, today's lunch is a vegetable falafel with seriacha hummus, lettuce, tomato, and a few slices of avocado. And that will be wrapped up, tucked in some tin foil for them, and sent on their way. They look delicious. They smell even better. Should try and wrap them up. The plan is to keep it nice and slim, get your filling in the middle. Fold over the corners, fold over the middle, see if you can get a slight tuck on him. And continue the roll. And that is a wrap. See what you did there. <laughs> nice. So that's it, the guests have just checked out and made their way. So it's been a successful three days. Um, Miss Danielle, but it was good. Me and Jake worked well together. Good for the first time doing our lunches, which I think worked really well. So yeah, all happy. Happy guests and happy hoteliers. And if they're happy subscribers watching the video, what should they do? If they're happy, they should click the like button and they should leave us a comment and they should click the notification bell so you can get updated on new videos when we release them. Thanks for watching.